red flags of low back pain, the telltale signs, the things that make you worry from the low back pain. Obtaining a detailed history is important, so careful examination of the patient can be done precisely in order to identify the red flags, the telltale signs, which can indicate or signify the presence of a serious condition that needs more workup and investigation. In the absence of these red flags, the treatment of acute low back pain is early returned to activity as the symptoms allow the patient. The patient may benefit from limited rest, from non steroidal anti inflammatory medication, from physiotherapy, and may benefit from muscle relaxants. It's all symptomatic treatment. Diagnostic imaging is not necessary unless the treatment is unsuccessful, the symptoms are prolonged, or if the patient has red flags that need a detailed investigation. Doing unnecessary x-rays or MRI may make the patient feel better, but it does not provide the patient with a better outcome. These patients usually don't need imaging, and when you do imaging, start with the x-rays first and not with the MRI first. What are these red flags, and how do you find them? So the patient will come to you with severe low back pain, and you know that the causes of low back pain are extensive, some of them from the spine, and some of them are not from the spine. We found that in acute low back pain, the cause is usually not identified. The history and physical examination will narrow the diagnosis and could identify a serious condition that is present, the red flags. You will find any red flags by obtaining careful history and physical examination of the patient. So the first question you're going to ask the patient with low back pain, if the patient has bladder or bowel difficulties, separate acute low back pain from coda equina syndrome, which is an orthopedic emergency that needs to be diagnosed early and treated by surgery early. Do not miss coda equina syndrome. And if there is any concern, you need to get immediate emergency MRI with an immediate read. In coda equina syndrome, the patient may have bladder or bowel dysfunction, urinary incontinence or retention, saddle anesthesia, bilateral lower extremity weakness or numbness, fecal incontinence, and decrease of the anal sphincter tone. Another question you ask the patients if they have systemic or constitutional symptoms. In an older patient, 50 years of age, you want to know if the patient had a history of cancer or not. You want to get an MRI, especially if the pain occurs during rest and at night, or if the patient had unexplained weight loss within the last few months. A patient with persistent pain for weeks or months and is not getting better at all with treatment then this patient's problem is complicated and must be studied further. Be aware that the spine is a common location for metastatic tumor that occurs in the vertebral body and it goes to the pedicle also. Loss of 30 to 40% of bone mass should occur before we can detect the lesion on an x-ray. And loss of vertical bone will give us the wink sign. A renal tumor that needs biopsy or surgery will probably need arteriography and embolization of the spine lesion. Try to find out if the patient has infection of the spine. Ask the patient if the patient have fever or chills, history of pneumonia, cellulitis, 
urinary tract, or kidney infection. Ask if the patient have pain at rest or at night. Ask if the patient is diabetic or have HIV or if the patient is immunocompromised. Infection will occur in the intervertebral disc space. The sedimentation rate and the CRP levels will be elevated. And only 50% of the cases usually have a fever. And less than 50% will have elevated white blood cell count. Get blood culture. It is positive in about 24% of the patients. Get an MRI and give antibiotics as guided by the biopsy and culture and sensitivity. If the patient has an epidural abscess, then you need to do surgery, especially if there is deterioration of the neurological deficit or if the patient is diabetic and had MRSA. Vertebral fracture. The patient may have an osteoporotic vertebral fracture, especially in an older patient that is taking steroids and had minimal trauma. In the osteoporotic spine fracture, there is decrease in bone strength, and about 700,000 spine fractures occurs every year. If you find this fracture, try to treat it before the patient gets a hip fracture later on or another spine fracture. The treatment will decrease the incidence of spine fractures by 60% after one year and 40% after two years of treatment. So in addition to treating the fracture of the spine, you will need to get DEXA scan, get 25 vitamin D level, and do medical treatment for the osteoporosis. Make sure the patient does not have cervical spine myelopathy due to spinal cord compression in the cervical spine. It is a progressive condition that must be diagnosed and treated early. So the patient will have low back pain, but will have unsteady gait. The patient will have hand clumsiness gait disturbance, decreased manual dexterity, difficulty in manipulating objects such as buttoning and unbuttoning a shirt. Patient drop objects, they can hold it. Patient will have hyperreflexia with positive Hoffman sign. MRI is usually the study of choice to diagnose the condition. A simple low back pain patient will have no constitutional symptoms, no history of major trauma, no neurological deficit, no bladder or bowel difficulties, and no gait disturbance. If you find any of these red flags, then you will need to dig deeper and evaluate the condition further. This is the time when you do more studies, such as blood work, x-rays, MRI, and other studies as deemed necessary. These are other red flags in acute low back pain, but this group is outside the spine, such as renal and biliary colic, abdominal aneurysm, infection and inflammation, such as urinary tract infection, pancreatitis, pelvic inflammatory disease. In general, the presence of red flags require consideration for further workup, and the presence of red flags is a contraindication to non-surgical treatment. Herniated disc. Herniated disc is not a red flag, and it is not a serious condition, but it is a condition that may need to be investigated further. Low back pain with a herniated disc, the patient will have sciatica with the pain radiating to the lower leg and to the foot, which could indicate that the patient has a disc herniation. The condition is usually treated initially conservatively for at least six weeks, and the MRI may be necessary if the patient is not getting better. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.